doctors just released you, though, and, and, and they warned you about overdoing it. Oh, you are kidding me. I'm trying to keep you alive. You know, I, I made myself a promise. After I got out of that place, I said I would take you somewhere where it was just you and me, and we'd make up for lost time, and I could show you exactly how I feel about you. Unless you don't want... Dante, I want to rip your clothes off. I just... If you have a heart attack from the strain, I'm going to be really traumatized. Okay, look, I ain't gonna have a heart attack if we don't do it. How about this? How about... How about we just... Take it really slow. And really easy. I like that. You know? Session go. Well, it's nice that Lainey has agreed to talk to me. Did you make a decision? We had a long discussion about the paternity test, and I know what I need to do. I think the stress of waiting and not knowing is greater than just getting it done. I need to know who's the father of my baby. So I have an appointment tomorrow with Kelly at the hospital, and she will need a DNA sample from the both of you. As long as you think it's the right time. Uh, yeah, I do. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're doing it right away. This baby deserves to be welcomed with joy, no matter who the father is. Mr. Morgan. You alone, and do you have a minute? Uh, I am alone, and I do have a minute, and I assume this has something to do indirectly with the box of fine Cuban cigars that fell into my lap? Sit down. So you know what's going on? Uh, bits and pieces. You first. Johnny Sakara uh, has decided to take on Sonny. Death wish? <laughs> Revenge for what happened to his sister. At this point, it's just a couple raids and a couple shipments. It's really no big deal. Uh, well, apart from the fine smoke to compliment my good whiskey, why would I be interested? Ethan. He appears to be helping Johnny. And Johnny has decided to use you and your relationship with Sonny to protect them from retaliation. Well, that's not too stupid of him to think he can pull in a bulletproof partner. Yeah, but the problem is, Luke, we know not everybody's bulletproof. Right now, like I said, it's a couple shipments, but Johnny's not living in reality, and this is bound to escalate, and that's when I'm going to have a real problem. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to get Ethan out of the way before this gets ugly. You're back. Yeah. Uh, the arraignment went just like I said it would. Uh, they, you know, they set a trial date. And uh, I left, came home. Where you been? Buffalo. Really? Like you didn't know, Max decided that he had to teach me how to drive the limo on the highways. It was one way to make sure that I didn't end up at the courthouse. Well, it's just as well you... You wouldn't like the prosecutor to try to revoke my bail. Well, I thought you said it all went like you planned. I, I'm free, right? Yeah. I guess you're feeling pretty relieved. Yeah. Uh, Dante helped. I mean, you know, they, they, the prosecutor put him on the stand and started grilling him about how he got shot. Did Dante lie? Uh, he, he stuck to his stories. He said that uh, he shot himself accidentally. Well, I guess we all owe him for that. It's pretty tense. I mean, there was a moment I couldn't breathe. But it worked out, you know, Dante came through. Well, you must be really proud of your son. I assume you close the restaurant because you don't want any witnesses. That's right. Okay, well, go ahead and break whatever you want. We have insurance. If something gets broken, it's going to be because of you. 
What's that for? To remind you of what we have. I'm a little worried you've forgotten who you're married to.